So we've got um, a ri three rings to make, four rings to make in fact. It's a challenge that um, Heather put forward on 3dcadjewelry.com. Jewelry spelt the American way. Um, and essentially we have a customer that wants a ring making. It's a um, signet ring with two dragonflies and an uh, engraving on the top. And then she decides she doesn't want the engraving, she wants a half a carat round diamond in the middle of it. And then she wants it rendering. And then she's got two sisters that want the same ring, um, one's a size 8, um, but with a bigger stone in it. And then the next scenario is that she's got the other sister, uh, she's a size 6, and she wants um, lots of little a cluster of diamonds to make it look like a big one. So um, that's what we're going to try and have a go at doing today. Um, this is a image of the dragonfly. so. I'm going to start with this. Um, no, I don't tend to use a lot of <coughs> memory and stuff when I use uh, not memory history when I'm using Matrix, just because I sort of started using Rhino first, and I don't know, I just didn't use it, and then I've carried it onto this. But I do use it for certain things, but for this, I don't think I'll be bothering. Um, so basically got T splines um, we'll go drag this out so it's where we can use it um, and then we'll go to append um, we'll draw a box I'll do uh, and then we'll select that and that get the edge and if we hold out we can drag that down Select those two edges. Oops. So all day we'll put that onto that layer and lock it. Okay. And we can drag that edge and that edge. If it allows. Uh, and again, drag that out. Drag that out. Drag that out. And one more. Okay. And then we'll switch over to. That mode. So just pull this in till um, I don't know. It's because it's on the fast setting that I think. Okay. Something like that. Let me track it on there a bit. And then um, what we're going to do is turn it off for now. Uh, I can leave it on, turn on it on, turn it off. So like this. And I'm going to copy that from the to the, I'm going to select that um, oops something like that Turn it on, select points again. And then just work around this so it matches that. I'm not going to spend ages on this, but you get a general idea. Some oddness going on there. Uh, 
That'll do. And we'll select them, select them, and we're going to mirror them around there to that. Select that. Move that up there. Right, uh, and then we're going to go into solid, no, T spline, sorry, um, and we want the quad ball. I'll shift to its central. Well, there. Repeat the command. And repeat the command. Okay. Okay. Um, let's scale these. Scale it. Something like that. Uh, maybe scale that one a little bit as well. Okay. Um, then we're going to select the wing. And we're going to thicken that. Now, if I was doing this in 3D view, so you know you're on the right way with it. Um, 0.5 of a mil, maybe. Uh, maybe a bit more. So, run the command. We'll go 0.65 of a mil. Uh, same on that one. Pull it up. 0.65. Same on that one. 0.65. 0.65 ok uh, and then we're going to select these oops I wonder if we have the right setting on we are <laughs> select them and them and we're going to bridge them the bridge command same with these bits. I'm going to bridge them with a bridge command. Oh, bridge, there you go. Oh, that's not liking that. Bridge, so let's face this to bridge. And so when done, there we go, and same in here, but not that one. And you could do that, but I'm not even going to bother to be honest. Um, I'll wait till I change them and do them with a boolean in a bit. Um, so let's just go and that mouse drag them over so they're in the middle. Oh, <laughs> there we go. So there's our moth thing. <laughs> um, what's it called? Not a moth, a mosquito, uh, oh, I can't remember. Dragonfly, that's it. And then if you want to pull these out now, you can go into it and tweak it to your heart's content. Oh. 
There we go. Alright, so I need to add a bit of texture to it now. Um, so, what could we do? Let's turn that off for now. Oops, make that current, turn that layer off. Um, curve. Oh, we're getting the near snap on. We're putting these in a different colour so we can see them a bit clearer. Maybe not that colour either. Okay, something like that. Let's turn it off now. I'll select all these we've just done. so we can pick them out easy uh, so we'll select them now pull I think it's a TS pull but that one will do anyway ok so we've got that one there and that one there we'll select the red one now delete it that leaves us with the yellow one now let's turn our thing off and um, we want to go TS pipe uh, a bit of a funny bit there what well, should be alright so let's just click into that um, segment so I want reducing so let's say I don't know five Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, select that. Uh, and if we pick our displays, choppy. Just drag out what we're doing, and we mesh that smooth. That's giving us that. That'll do us. Um, pop that in there. Um, bring back our butterfly thing. Um, Select the Meta Spline surface. Um, and we'll let's get on that one. We'll mirror that. Four over two. Ooh. Where's that gone? Mirror that. Four. Something like that. Uh, and then we'll set these splines off a sec. I prefer using this and the these splines one. Um, pull that round the touch. And then we'll just push it in there. Same thing again. Select that. These flies mesh, um, and then we'll copy that from there to there. <laughs> there. We'll scale it down a bit and shorter a bit. And we'll mirror that over to uh, Okay, so let's have a look what we've got now. That's no good on that one look. So let's 
like that. Let's pull out there. Bit like that. Now we need to boil this all together. At the moment, this is all um, uh, sea splines, so I'll just make a copy of it so we can go back to it if need be. Uh, and then there's this one here, it's tea splines that will convert everything to nerves. Sometimes you shouldn't really do it all together, um, but we have done. We're going to um, this and we'll go to the body and we'll join that to the wings oh, not you, you and you that will do the volume and then we'll go with that Okay, I'll jump back to that as well. Um, and then we'll pop that on to. Oops. Where my layer's gone now, we'll pop that on to red light, turn it off, or delete them. Okay, so what we need to do now is build our first ring. Um, which is straightforward enough. Uh, we have a signal ring builder. Um, we want to edit the top to an overly sort. Uh, possibly. Um, ring rail and the ring gear size 5. There we go. And let's start building that. Oops. Um, so it's massively too big. So I don't know. Go down to 10 or something. I don't know. Whatever. Bring that down. We don't want too much thickness in that. Two, one point eight. I don't know something like that. <coughs> That's given us. Uh, our ring uh, so what did we need to do now put dragonflies on the side so let's put some cutouts inside of this come stop here
So if we go into stay in that view and then go project. Goes to project. And now we're done. Surface and now we're done. And that's giving us this sort of an affair. Right, so what we can do now, we can delete that. Well, I'll save onto that later if you want. So let's go tools, pull back, surface that, curve, okay. Let's go back onto that layer. Do the same thing all over again. That curve. That. that back onto that surface, put that in there, select that one, put that in there, uh oh, put that, that back onto there, bit of cut out in there to make it lighter. Okay, get that for now. So I don't know what the initials are, so we'll just have in that like that. Page edit that to bounding box.
Okay, so now we need to um, put our dragonflies on the side. Uh, so we'll go to curve. Talk a lot. Two about there, and one's about there, one's there, one's there, cheap edge, oh, one there, one there, turn our green bit off, that's easier, reset when there's a million lives everywhere. And sweep two. Okay, nice surface there. Bring our ring back. Um, where did we put our dragonfly there? No. Yeah, uh, whizzing round there. A bit touch on the big side there. <laughs> okay, uh, and then what we need to do is curve. I'll do up here. Curve some objects. Create UV curves. Okay, let's put that up here. Oakley doakley. If that's going on that, that wants to be that way. Oops. A hairy mosquito. Sounds wrong, doesn't it? Like a cocktail. Okay. So let's select that and let's rink him down. Um, but we'll do a transform 2D scale from. I'll do. Okay. No, oh, this now is our. Surface two. Okay, let's put on a grey layer. Right, bring our mosquito back. Now we want to shrink the wings down a bit. Something like that. Okie dokie. And then what I use oh, face surface is there. Uh, uh, now uh, reds are pointing down, blues across, yellows are out, so that's good to go. So that's par. Um, we just keep that wide. It. Now it's a little bit low, so if we select that on here, pull that up. Right on there. That way. Oh, 
we go. And maybe pull his tail down a little bit longer. So select it and we'll go transform scale one day. From there to there. Day in now. There we go. It definitely looks like a <laughs> mosquito now. But anyway, so we'll just take that away onto that, and then we'll copy that over to the right. So that's done. a bit fatter though, done it, so let's get rid of that. Oops. Delete that. Right, so if we get the body now, mm, I don't know if this will work. Should we try it? Transform. Cage edit. Cage edit. Select captured objects, found in box, and then we pick that one. Oh, you rascal! We pick that one, 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 that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Basically, that one's, <laughs> and then, but not that, and then pull that out. doing it now. Put that back into uh, lips to know. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Okay, so that's that ring done, and I want to render doing. So. And then, whoa. Right, so we've got that opened up like that. Uh, gems, half a carrot. Okay. And then I'd go into C 
settings. Right to the open that right out like that. Blend surface. There we go, so that's that one. We're still back in it and um, we'll job back that one. Now um this one then wants to go to what is it? A size eight. Oh, she was pretty big girl. And one point seven five so it, rather than getting all technical this is probably how I'd go about doing this one. So MSR Oops Um and I'd scale that stone out to be point seven five And the scale is 1.12. So I'll enter to take that. And then I will transform, cage edit, cage edit, um, bounding box, number of points in the Z8. Okay, and then I'd hit that like that. And I'll go into top view and transform and then scale 2D from F4 um, and, and I'd want it to go 1.12 
Okay. And that's just block that top of that out. Oh, come on. Nice to fit that stone there. That's the bigger stone then. I'll retain everything else. But the only thing with that now is it has to be size 8. Um, so what I do is I jog back that with the bigger stone. And then I'd go into this one. Um, so like that. Go into tools, ring resizer. Uh, put the model in there and draw that line around there. And I'll draw that line there, and then I opt for. Number eight, and then resize up. That's better. So that's that one. So we can put that into there. Oh, and then I don't mind. So explode it. Show sure that. Show sure that, uh, and then add. Oh, we've still got a hole here. Um, so what I do here? This dupe, uh, dupe border will do. So that's there. Uh, we'll put that on that colour so it stands out. Um, and then add. Oops, select a curve. Quad settings on. Oh, from that quad to that quad. Uh, again, let's pull it onto that one if I were working that one. Uh, and then I would that curve, and I want to split that. Surface two, so that's one, that's one. I want to go to a point there. I want to go to that. I want to go to a point there. There we go. And bring that back, and then we'll click them together. Join, 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 join. Put that back onto that layer. Right. And then, uh, probably, mm, I have a gem on a curve, or let's try the Parve Builder. Um, let's, um, and then a curve, quad. Um, so let's turn green off again. Surface we two go up to a point that I go a point there and there's we've got a nice clean surface now so bring that back and now we'll go gems that one and we'll go surface is our yellow one and base and direction is there 
and we want it shift on so we can lock it now. Uh -uh. And then we want stone size 1.2. I don't know. We can also adjust them. 1.2. 1.2. And we'll go for normal and we'll go for hex and no, so let's make them bigger. Uh, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, run. I think we still go, can go a bit bigger than that, can't we? 1.8 1.8 Yeah, we'll go for that Now if you look at them, they are upside down So if we can flip them There we go I'd Say done at that So we've got our stones there now Bring them around a little bit so the there we go. <sighs> um, and then we will go.
So there we have it, <coughs> the last ring. Um, I think, to be honest, I'd spend a bit more time blending this, maybe run the blend from the top down to closer to here somewhere. Um, and that still looks like <laughs> a mosquito, but anyway, if I'm going to be a touch big, it'd be alright. Um, now you can take that into 3D coat and smooth it for a better render. These sharp edges aren't very good, but usually the fillet fails. Um, if you were to do them around there, and it'd make it more polished for rendering purposes, but for manufacturing, I think that's okay. Um, <coughs> yep, so that's it. It's Friday night. I'm going for a beer now, but I hope that helps out a little bit. If any questions, just ask away. and. Uh, We'll see how it goes. Um, Alright then, thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.